When was the last time an incumbent starter or quarterback did not win the job for the Wolverines? For the answer, Michigan fans have to go all the way back to 2010, when Denard Robinson pushed Tate Forcier to the side. However, there were extenuating circumstances, with Forcier not in the good graces of the coaching staff. Prior to that, an incumbent last lost his job in 1997, when Brian Greasy won out over Scott Dreisbach. Dreisbach had started 11 games before an injury against Ohio State forced him to sidelines. So again, an extenuated circumstance. That won't be the case in 2017. Wilton Spate is one of head coach Jim Harbaugh's favorite players, and he is injury-free after returning to action against Ohio State and again in the 2016 Orange Bowl following a shoulder arm injury at Iowa. At quarterback, there are seemingly two factions within the Michigan fan base. One convinced that with a year of experience under his belt, Spate is capable of leading Michigan to a championship. He was, after all, Harbaugh's pick a year ago, when almost everyone thought John O'Corn would be the guy. And an aside, we saw the Indiana game and know why it was Spate. The other faction thinks Spate is a nice player, but not a difference-making quarterback. Someone with a hokey throwing motion, slow feet, prone to mistakes, and unable to make the deep throw consistently. At 6'6", 243 pounds, Spate threw for 2,538 yards with 18 touchdowns and just 7 interceptions, his season ranking as the 6th best yardage total in a debut campaign as the full-time starter. We saw fire and intensity in Spate when he led Michigan to a late, game-winning touchdown against Wisconsin, when he engineered a comeback win over Colorado, when he earned UM's first victory in East Lansing since 2004, and his ability to bounce back from mistakes that led to scoring drives in Columbus and then giving Michigan a chance in overtime against Ohio State. And then we saw him reach a new gear as he tried to rally the maize and blue to a win against Florida State, throwing with some heat as the Wolverines scored 26 second half points and took the lead with 157 remaining in the contest. After O'Corn's paltry performance against Indiana, seven of 16 pass attempts, that's 43.8% for 59 yards, no one thinks the fifth year senior is a legitimate threat to the registered junior spate. Neither is redshirt sophomore Alex Malzone, who looks destined for a career holding a clipboard before he takes a grad transfer year at a smaller school. The only real challenger this spring appears to be redshirt freshman Brandon Peters, who was ranked the number 61 player nationally by 247 Sports coming out of Avon High School in Indiana in 2015. At 6'5", 216 pounds, Peters has the size, and he apparently throws a prettier ball than spate, if that's worth anything. This was the first quarterback that Harbaugh handpicked in the recruiting cycle, and all indications are that Peters possesses the physical makeup to be the guy someday. The question is, where is he mentally this spring? One of Spate's greatest strengths is his football IQ and ability to understand concepts and make decisions like a coach would. That has given him an edge in the past, both as Jake Rudock's backup in 2015 and then as Michigan's starter in 2016, and will give him an edge in March and April. How quickly can Peters make up ground on Spate? And how much further can Spate mature and develop? If he successfully does the latter, no one will catch him. Handicapping this race, it's Spates to lose by a wide margin. <laughs>